All right, <clears throat> now we have a review of this owner-operator cattle plot truck. Uh, it's a Kenworth W900L tractor and a Wilson pot. It's a red axle pot, which is uh, all I think you need. I don't think you need a triaxle pot, and I don't really much care for the uh, tandem pots myself. I'm just going to go ahead and start here with the truck. Truck's a uh, typical DCP with the turning wheels, as you can see. And of course, they turn to both sides. Not so much, <clears throat> not <clears throat> very well of a working suspension. Hood does open, it is a Cummins engine. You got the uh, no lights on this one on the bumper. You got turn signals and of course there all that stuff right there. There's not a whole lot you can cover with these these trucks. Um, this is the only Kenworth flat top that I'd have at the time. It's a 60 inch if I'm not mistaken because it, it's not the uh, aero cab setup. It's uh, straight uh, in my opinion, was right <clears throat> because I'm a Peterbilt man myself. With the W900Ls, of course, any Peterbilt guy can stand a W9L. Uh, more especially me, I like the older looks. Um, I've drove a few of these. The one, or not uh, a few of these with the flat top sleepers, but I have drove a few of the older KWs that are not aero cab. But I did, I'd have drove aero cab versions, and I like the older ones better. Even though it's like crawling through a, a rat hole to get into the bunk. This version does not have a window. It has doors. Which I like a lot better. I like the doors and it has a very nice rivet set up. It's a KW typical with uh, no lights on the drop core panel, kick panel. And lights under the cab and lights under the bunk. This one has a painted step or painted tank, tri-rib tank, which is an option on a Kenworth. Also like the step. The step is actually very detailed on this, going to the tank, on the tank, and of course the step in the cab is very detailed. The stacks are what's considered to be a mule ear stack, I think, is what I've been told, and they're very nice. They're basically a turnout. This is a tri-axle. Here you can see kind of working suspension. Uh, with they got single axle fenders on this. On the bottom side, if you take a look, the tri tri axle is, is uh, removable. You can take it off. The uh, back ones are pretty well mandatory. They're pretty well put on the truck. But uh, this axle can be taken off right here. It, it has the uh, smooth deck plate. Uh, the one complaint. I have with uh, this DCP truck and any triaxle truck, other than the heavy haulers that they set up, have set up with the very long diamond plating deal, is that there is no way to get onto the catwalk. There is no way to, to achieve being on the catwalk. It's got a nice catwalk, deep, you know, very smooth, all except for the bolts. Bolts that hold it in. There are no bolts on a deck plate. Deck plates are held down by four clamps that you put a nut on the bottom and when it sucks up, it sucks to the frame. There's one bolt on top, there's a bolt on the top and it's got the nut on the bottom and it's got this little clamp that they give you from the factory or whatnot and it there's four bolts and it just clamps to the frame basically is what it does. There's not bolts in rows like this. That's more or less just for show. This version, unlike uh, the 379s, I've been told, uh, it does have brake lights and reverse lights on the back. And you can see your brake cans and such from this angle. Alright, now we're going to move on to the cattle pot. There's not much you can say about this Silver Star. You know, uh, detailed front there is no name which that's great 
Uh, all of these holes are etched out. Every one of them down the trailer is etched. These, what you would see would be doors are not openable. They do not open. Like I said, this one is a spread. Now, this with the chrome back here. Uh, you got to be careful with it. It does roll up. It is a roll up door. It does provide you with this view right here into the trailer. And you can see a gate down yonder. And plus the wall right there and wall right there. These doors will get off track if you push them too far. As you can see, this one's almost there. You just kind of got to be careful with it and roll it back down, which I will do off camera because I don't want mine to break. I almost broke it today. I got it. Checking it out. But you have lights across the top up here. One light, one light. And then there's a light towards the outside here. Light towards the outside over here. You got your brake lights and such. A lot of people ask or, or make a complaint that this is not realistic. That this right here with only the guard or what you want to call it over the left side lights is not real. There should be a guard on both lights. Well, there's not a guard on both lights because you only back up to a chute on your driver's side. So why have a protector on the rider's side when it's never going to be in trouble? That's the logic behind that. That is a Wilson thing, not a DCP thing. As I've been around these. And that's the way they are truly set. And this one's, uh, this is pretty much just it. That's, that's the kettle pot. and That's the truck.